Out of all the characters in Star vs. the Forces of Evil, it can be argued that Glosseric is the most mysterious and powerful. After the events of the Battle for Muni, it has been made clear that Glosseric has a greater understanding of the future than everyone else has. This made me wonder whose side he's on. When Toffee possesses Ludo, Glosseric tells him that he doesn't have a side. Fans could be led to believe that this was true because he was willing to help Ludo learn magic after he stole the book in Bon Bon the Birthday Clown. This can be viewed as betraying Star, but in reality, he was able to foresee a situation where he could trick Toffee and Ludo into a situation where Star could defeat Toffee, set Ludo free, and end the magic fritz which Toffee caused in the first place. In the movie, you can see that he was the one to guide Moon to use Eclipse's magic to defeat Toffee's army, and later in the movie, you can see him hide magic in the pudding he was melting into the fire, which came into play later in the movie. Star used the magic that Glosseric saved to save herself and defeat Toffee. Glosseric was able to predict all of this, and if you think about it, he actually saved Star, the High Commission, and the citizens of Muni. Glosseric told Moon that he teaches all the princesses differently, and that he would do something different to train Star because she's so different. And I believe that by risking both of their lives, he taught her how to dip down and use her shining star form. And I believe that earlier in the second season, he forced her closet door shut so she could learn how to dip down in the first place. When Star lost him, he wanted her to learn how to survive without guidance or her spellbook. And that's why he wouldn't escape when he had the chance. He has everything planned out, and if he escaped, Star wouldn't learn how to change forms and Toffee would remain undefeated. It's clear that Glosseric does have a side, and he stays loyal to it. What he did in Season 2 and the movie was for the greater good of the Butterfly family. So is he a traitor? Clearly not. Is he a pudding-loving god? Definitely. Thanks for watching.